So, this is all about uh, Brexit and all of that, and we've had Theresa May's speech now, whereby uh, she's basically said, we're going. And that's fair enough, I suppose. It suggests the method of our being so forthright uh, suggests that we are expecting that the European Union group of 27 that's left, or going to be left, to do quite a lot of sodding about. Um, the backdrop is because we are going to be building bridges all over the place. With the rest of the world and all that, and all the commentators out there and the news channels will be talking about that stuff. Um, there's a certain um, whiff in the air about, and there has been for quite a long time now, about Britain, the UK being punished as we exit, or for daring to exit. I just want to point out a few things about that sort of thing. The Brexit, the exit of Britain from the European Union, is about uh, a country that, by a bit of a barmy route, has gone and taken a vote and decided to leave the European Union. Um, that it's decided to do that is perfectly democratic and quite normal and nobody died during it. I say that. Uh, they're, they're, that's arguable. But, you know, without um, resorting to firearms, we've had a decision that we're going to leave European Union. Uh, this brings us right back to the First World War. Now, no one's going to mention the war because Germany sat at the table, but I'm going to have to mention it. Um, it started with the Duke Franz Ferdinand being assassinated. And you can go into the history books and all that, I've read it on Wiki. Exactly five years after he was assassinated, the First World War ended with the Treaty of Versailles. Versailles, as it's written phonetically. Um, and the Treaty of Versailles was all about imposing conditions on Germany that people hoped would basically neuter the country so it wouldn't start a war again. Now, the problem with uh, neutering a country is it's okay for a little while sanctions because that's what the Treaty of Versailles really is. It's a set of sanctions against Germany uh, and anyone who would be allies with it. But it is, you can't keep the sanctions going forever. If you keep the sanctions going for quite a while, that's going to result in a backlash from that country. Eventually, the country says, take those, I'm not accepting it. In a way, we've had a watered-down version of that, but I don't want to get into that. What, what we've got is a situation where people like the Italians, who has to be remembered were with Germany in the Second World War, um, are starting to talk tough as though Britain should be punished for um, leaving. And what do you know? It's coming down to a, a resignation check that Britain might be expected to write. Uh, why, should we, why should we fill in a check as we leave? I mean, you could say it's for squaring up the bill as we go, but equally it could be said you could add up for the last 20 odd years and we could square up the bill they owe us. And remember, we were going to be given a couple of billion back a few years back and Tony Blair probably made a bit of a mistake in saying, no, it's all right, don't give it to us. So we are in no way comparable to the position that Germany was in when the Treaty of Versailles was uh, laid on them. That set of sanctions, which meant they couldn't, uh, they couldn't have a certain number of troops, and they couldn't do this and they couldn't do that, um, and it was reinforced after the World War Two. So I mean, you could say the Treaty of Versailles didn't work. The point was to stop Germany going to war again, and then it it seemed to bring about the next war almost. At least that's what a lot of Germans uh, probably would put forward. So I'm not trying to dredge up the past. I'm trying to point out. In no way is Britain, the UK, in a Treaty of Versailles position. We, we, haven't, we haven't gone to war with anybody. We haven't slaughtered loads of people in Europe and said, it's, uh, you know, we hate this, that, the other. We've said, okay, we tried to change the conditions under which we're part of Europe. You didn't want us to, so we'll leave. You must be entitled to leave the club, surely. It reminds me of that movie, Layer Cake, where Daniel Craig... Um, quietly gets all these drug money together and he's going to leave the whole, the whole criminal establishment. And somebody says, uh, no, you're not. You're going to do these jobs for me and you're going to keep going and you will pay my bills. 
and there's a little bit of that in a little bit of layer cake fashion. Um, I wouldn't like to think that the European Union handed a handgun to the dumbest brat in the group and said, you know, have a go at Britain with that. Because in layer cake, that's sort of what happens. Um, I think that we should be entitled to leave and we shouldn't have to sign a big check at the end. And what's interesting is that Theresa May and our government must have calculated that um, when we try to leave, it's not going to be any better under the next French president, which is going to be in place in three months or so, maybe four or five months. But, but spring, summer, there's a new French president, so there might be a whole new outlook. Um, and it might be more right wing, it might not. Um, the French are difficult to predict in that regard, I think, especially now that their socialist president has turned out not to be very good. Germany, in by September, October, they will definitely be a new um, German chancellor. Now, Merkel said she'll carry on. I'm not sure the German people are going to have her carry on. But my, my view is that the calculation the British government is making is things are not going to get any better. You know, that song, things can only get better. I think things can only get worse is, is our government's calculation. So we might as well say we're going and uh, announce that we'll do our best to be friends, but you're going to try and impose all the conditions on us that we've said we have to leave because you impose on us. Merkel made the big mistake. The Schengen business and her letting in half a million migrants just at a time when terrorism was at a peak and now they've had their Berlin truck attack in the Berlin Christmas market and stuff. Um, Merkel's as much to blame for us leaving as we are. We brought up the problem and said, look, here's, here's what's wrong. Had they solved people's uh, problems, had they said to people, look, we'll make uh, border crossing and who's coming from where, we'll make it transparent to the people of, to citizens of Europe. Uh, Britain might never have voted to leave. So we're certainly not in a Treaty of Versailles position. Punishing us would be totally wrong and I hate to bring up the war but after war you deserve to be punished. We haven't had a war. Thanks for watching this thing.